This is a real Apollo space capsule, absolutely genuine. I was a flight surgeon in the Apollo program and have flown with the astronauts when they flew T-38s in training. But I acquired this here out of a junkyard at McNeil's Quick Check is where I got it. And it is one of the two first boilerplate specials, they called, where they dropped in the water to see how they'd land. And so this is absolutely genuine and real. Uh, in part, of Las Vegas history because I got it here, but also look at this. This is a new display because we now have the Air Force, Thunderbirds, and also the Navy team, the Blue Angels here, flying all in a pattern around here. I even have sound effects with the new F-22. So this is a tribute to Las Vegas, and aviation and space flight. Here's the Beverly Hillbillies, but I call it the Beverly Hillary Billies because there's Bill uh, Clinton sitting with his wife in the front seat and of course Jed Clampert. But the real friend is Max Baird Jr. Jethro. He lives up north. And this old, old is older than any building in Southern Nevada because it was from the Bing Crosby Ranch in northern Nevada, all which was settled before Las Vegas was settled. These are various trains and planes, but there, of course, is when we catch, caught Saddam Hussein. And then uh, the dragon things are from various displays. At the, uh, we had a EFX show here. The most interesting thing now is that this engine right here was the engine, it's exactly the same type engine that powered how to use a race, racer. He crashed at 65 years ago, sustaining severe injuries be, just because he didn't turn the propeller. Uh, uh, the propeller trouble, he should turn the engine off and he'd have landed safely. It also is the same engine that goes in the Spruce Goose. And this is a piece of Nevada history because this is the newspaper today about. This is the prop from a plane that went down and killed about 13 people that were here uh, flying in for secret workers from LA uh, to work at Area 51. And it was all hushed up. Nobody knew about the wreck for a long time. But the Boy Scouts went up and brought these down. So it's a combination of all kinds of Las Vegas history. This look locomotive was the one that dug Yucca Mountain. Uh, this is my own locomotive, it was electric, and I call it the Internal Railroad Service because I have an IRS party every April 15th. Again, more displays of Las Vegas and wind, but this is a full-size replica of the atomic bomb little boy that exploded in Hiroshima that was the first atomic bomb ever exploded. So. A lot of the toys I have are signs, Liberace signs, Arizona Charlies. Before it was Arizona Charlies, it was just Charlies. So it's the very first sign. Lone Star State and Liberace Staircase. And here, there we have Osama bin Laden. Okay. So uh, all this is representative of fun things that I've done and collected in my life. But let me show you some more about recent Las Vegas collections. The Showboat Casino, uh, the Castaways Casino, Sahara, the Sands, Landmark. I've got pieces of all the old casinos. The, uh, I've got Bugsy Siegel's potty that he actually uh, was in his room at the, uh, come on, I'll show you. Hey, puppy, look at you run. That was Bugsy's color, and there's a picture of me up there with Bugsy. Or maybe it's a picture of me with a wax dummy of Bugsy. But this is the actual right out of the area where he had all kinds of security, and you 
couldn't enter it. Yeah, dog. If you look down here, this was the actual entrance of the Cosbar Lounge at the Sahara. Got a piece of steel in it, so it took a while for my brother-in-law to get it back here and get it up, because it's, it's a heavy piece. But I got this airplane. It crashed in Las Vegas, and I got the plane. The most interesting thing, it's the only airplane ever built in Puerto Rico. They came in up to get an airworthiness certificate. It failed, so <laughs> they didn't build any more. One of my favorite comedians always was Red Skelton. And I met him the last year of his life up in Reno. So I have a great mem memento of Red Skelton. This is a two-thirds scale model shuttle, space shuttle. But it was the newer design than with two tails. And on top of it, this black structure is the skeleton of a stealth F-117. This is, I guess, me. And uh, I spent time filming in New Guinea at the origin of this canoe. And I say the canoe is 72 feet long. And I'm having a bunch of friends who are modeling their skin color for me. I got a couple of them on here now. And then I'm going to put a total of eight of these warriors, Amazon warriors, who are escorting me in my adventures. The wind will catch it, whip it out of there in another second. There it went. <laughs> Here are two representations of Stonehenge. This is one scale. And this is a scale twice as big. Well, my scale of this copper around here is one half size of actual Stonehenge. And this part is unfinished and will be finished by the year 2012, December 21st, when the Mayan calendar ends. Doesn't mean the world ends, just the calendar ends. Of course, who knows? Now this stairway, I call the Star Wars stairway because I've got a whole bunch of Garth Vader's here I've got to pass by. They're the guardians of the stairway, I guess. And here's motorcycles. Regular motorcycles. Movies, Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes 1, Planet of the Apes 2, uh, Night at the Smithsonian, various Star Wars, Star Trek. That's Evil Knievel's rocket ship here. The wind's gotten to it a little bit here. But that's Evil before he crashed into Snake Mountain, Snake River Canyon, 1974. And uh, this is just a mock-up. This is music from Belize by the Turtle Shell Band, who I met them down there, and I actually have some of their band instruments. But the real story is that this is little Lonnie. This is me. I, uh, 1944, I was six years old, and I caught these moths and mounted these motorcycles. So I was interested in butterflies and these are honey that we just took out of the tree, uh, or out of the house. So the Cathedral of Knowledge represents many, many different civilizations and many different 
philosophies of life, and religion. I happen to have a timeline here of Christianity and uh, of the Catholic religion. Here's another timeline right above it of the Mormon beliefs. So uh, it combines ancient beliefs from Asia, from Indonesia. But one of the funnest things, and I haven't done this in years, and I don't know why I'm thinking about doing it now. I've got to put away my tools and my toys. Independence Day, that was the movie in which I rode in the helicopter and scared the crew. But here, you see this. That is a powerful gong. Came from a temple in mainland China. Brought to Taiwan, then to the United States. <laughs> 